The HashiCorp Terraform extension for Visual Studio Code provides a first-class editor experience for Terraform developers. This includes syntax highlighting, tooltips, auto-completion, validation of Terraform code, among many other features. The latest enhancement, which we'll look at in this video, is an integration with Terraform Cloud which allows you to view workspace information without leaving the editor. First, you'll need to install the HashiCorp Terraform extension from the VS Code Marketplace. Here in the extensions panel, search for HashiCorp or Terraform. Specifically, you'll want to look for the one labeled HashiCorp Terraform, which is published by HashiCorp. If you already have it installed, just make sure it's up to date so you're getting the latest features. With the extension installed, you'll see two icons in the activity bar. The first one brings us to the Provider and Module Explorer, which provides details about the Terraform configuration you're currently working on, and it will live update as you add and remove modules and providers from your configuration. Today, we'll focus on the new Terraform Cloud integration, which can be found in the second activity icon with the Cloud Badge on it. First, you'll need to authenticate to Terraform Cloud. This can be done in a few different ways. If you've already used the Terraform login command at the CLI, the extension can reuse that token. You can manually enter an auth token, or you can generate one via the Terraform Cloud website. I'll choose the first option since I've already logged in via the CLI. Now that you're logged in, the first thing you need to do is choose your organization. If you have access to more than one, they'll all be listed here. And now all of the workspaces that you have access to in that organization will be listed here in the workspace pane. Here you can quickly see the status of each workspace and we can filter by project to narrow down the list. Hovering over one of the workspaces, you'll see details like the last run status, how many resources are being managed, and for VCS connected workspaces, a link to the associated repository. You can also click through using the name link or the globe icon here to open the workspace in your browser. Selecting one of these workspaces, the integration will load the list of runs. Again, each icon indicates the status of the run. And just like the workspaces, you can hover over each run to see details like the results and how it was triggered. You can also expand each run to see each phase and even pull the full JSON log to dig into what's going on with this workspace. This is just the beginning and we do plan to continue adding more Terraform Cloud functionality to the VS Code extension. So we'd love to hear your feedback in the HashiCorp Discuss forums at discuss.hashicorp.com. Check out the Terraform Editor Integrations category in the Terraform forum. To learn more about Terraform Cloud, head on over to hashicorp.com slash cloud or developer.hashicorp.com to access documentation and tutorials. Thanks for watching.